What's happening, guys? Feast your eyes on this classic. Woohoo! Yeah! Get it, girl! Get it! Definitely the coolest 50cc motorcycle you could ever quite possibly buy for your girlfriend or your kids or for yourself. This thing's nasty. It's a two stroke, single cylinder, 50cc, five speed, unlike most other mopeds. This, this one's got, uh, this one I'll do with a quarter mile. Woohoo! At 51 miles an hour. And not only will it haul pretty little girl around, but it'll also haul my big old butt around on it, 220 pounds. It's got enough power for a full-size adult. And it is a full-size frame. It looks like it could be a 125. It's called the MB5. If you don't recognize this bike, well, there might be a reason why. They only made it for a couple of years, and most of them are ridden into the ground. And I, frankly, haven't seen one at Daytona or any of the major rallies at all in many, many moons. What do you think, Shaylin? You look good on it. Big rips, huh? Def yeah, definitely a cool little bike. It's light, fast, easy mm -hmm. to ride. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Everything I need. <laughs> and, and you can you can rev these things to the moon. It has a 10,500 RPM redline. Want to do a drive-by on the street? Yeah. Same. All right. Oh, by the way, this is street legal, and it does not require a license. Starts right up. Well, I started it in gear. Full throttle all the way. That's right. Like running a GP bike, it revs right to the moon, and uh, you can have a lot of fun without getting in too much trouble on this thing. Street legal, unlike a lot of other two strokes that people ride right in the street, this one's actually street legal. And uh, there are lots of hop up parts. They make 70cc and 80cc big bore kits for them. Um, this one runs like a new bike, and it's a lot of fun. You won't see another one around, that's for sure. They're extremely rare. Although there is somewhat of a cult following of these if you go on to some of the websites uh, and forums, you'll see there's a bunch of information on them. So why don't you come up to the shop and we'll go ahead and go over the work order. I'll tell you exactly what's been done to it. We just put a couple thousand dollars into uh, restoration and preservation services on this classic. And uh, I'm sure the pictures and the video, the bike speaks for itself, but I'll tell you what we've done to it so far. So stay tuned. Rolling. Absolutely awesome. I wish we could keep it, man, with the black and red white paint job on it and the chrome rims and the gold chain. This may be an 82, but it could have rolled off the line in 2020. It'd be, a, it'd be an absolute sales success for Honda. What a cool piece. Uh, this was owned by a Honda collector, I might add, who didn't ride it. It just was in a stable of Honda motorcycles. He had somewhere in the area of 50 bikes. We bought 20 of them from his estate when he passed away, including a Honda Rune, which is arguably the most valuable uh, custom new Honda ever made. Uh, some Honda Dreams, this MB5. He had a real eye for the cult classics. This one here, we just put, like I had mentioned, about 2,000 in service dollars into it, uh, 16 hours of labor. It was given a full steam clean, rotisserie detail. The frame and swing arm were touched up. The engine was repainted. Uh, the wheels were polished. The exhaust pipe was removed and painted. The triple clamps were touched up. The center stand was repainted. Uh, full rotisserie detail. 
Um, compression test at a perfect 125 PSI in the service department. Uh, tire pressures were set on it. Um, put a brand new chain on it. Uh, fixed the, the uh, tail end brake light. Um, has voltage at the headlight, but I guess it needs a new headlight bulb and dash light bulbs and that we couldn't get them in time for the video. So um, you'll have to put a headlight bulb in it. Uh, it also has a brand new air filter. The carb was cleaned and the bike was thoroughly tuned up, service top to bottom, uh, carb clean, air filter. Everything was adjusted, new spark plug, a brand new chain, new air filter, new Honda grips, handlebar grips, new Maxima, gear oil, a, and uh, a new foam air filter. So just a beautiful piece. These Honda MB50s, uh, known as the MB5. Let me take my, my glasses off so I can read this a little better. Um, was produced from 79 to 82 in the US and 88 overseas in, in Europe. Uh, it's a very lightweight motorcycle. Fit, filling a similar transportation role to a motor scooter though styled like a sport bike with a 49cc two-stroke single cylinder engine and a five-speed manual transmission. The MB5 also has a speedometer, a tachometer with a red line at 10,500 RPM and a front disc brake and Honda's popular Comstar wheels. Uh, although it was short-lived in the US here, uh, only imported it in 1982 uh, I guess they said it was a one year only model in the US here according to Wikipedia. Uh, it was more popular in Europe. So um, the bike has seven horsepower stock from the factory, uh, 10,500 RPM red line. Uh, it's geared to do 53 miles an hour. That was the period test speed. 49.5 cc air cooled two stroke single making it legal for uh, non registered riding. Check with your local DMB, but uh, that's how it was sold as a non registrable scooter so no insurance no taxes no bs just get on it and ride um so the uh um motorcycle classics magazine said here that uh how can an engine of fi only 50 cc's just three cubic inches make enough power to set an average speed of over 85 miles per hour on the isle of man tt circuit in 1965 ralph bryans did just that on a 50 cc double o red cam honda Securing both the riders and manufacturers ultra lightweight world championships. So Honda's won world championships in the 50cc class. Um, so don't dislike small bikes. They have a lot of potential. This one here is a simple 50cc two stroke. It still produced the pulling power of seven horsepower. And um, Honda really had no competition in the market to my knowledge. I don't know of any other motorcycle that competed with this. I know uh, Kawasaki made an 80, a bigger one, but that would have required uh, taxes and registration and everything else. So, in any event, um, engine lubrication was oil injection, while the separate transmission ran in oil, has straight cut primary gears, drives a wet multiple clutch, clutch and five speed gearbox, 16 millimeter K hin carburetor fed fuel, with sparks handled by a contactless CDI unit, a 12 volt 66 watt alternator provided power for the lights. It just has a kickstarter, real easy to start. Uh, the, the, the frame's kind of ingenious. It has a tubular frame spine with a pair of straight tubes welded to the headstock, turning back either side of the spine down to the rear frame tubes, triangulating the frame. So it's really a cool piece. Um, the engine hung from the spine and was clamped to the back between two plates welded to the rear down tubes, which also formed the swing arm uh, pivot. It has a real nice uh, set of front forks on it to, uh, you know, it looks like the front end looks like it's something that could be off of a 125 or a much bigger machine. It's a real motorcycle. Uh, caliper, rim, and forks, uh, unlike most mopeds, which have real cheesy stuff on it. So, just a, a really cool smaller group. wheels, so making them handle not as the tires. Desirably. The bike's in absolutely beautiful condition. Uh, good luck finding another another one. I haven't seen any come up for sale in our recent searches, and it's a really cool cult classic. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Junior, is there anything you'd like to add? No, these are really easy to ship. Message your zip for a quote. Call us on the shop line. Good luck bidding, guys. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.